What's going on everyone? It's King Touch Pro. Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you a super cool trippy kaleidoscope glitch effect from Polo G's Party Life featuring the baby music video, which I will have linked down in the description of this video. And if I push play, we're going to be creating something like this in Final Cut Pro 10. Believe it or not, it's so easy and no plugins or presets are required for this music video tutorial. And also, uh, if you guys could hit the like button, subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video just like this one that would be awesome your feedback and your guys' support in the past couple of videos have been absolutely amazing so thank you so much for that and with that being said let's jump right into it all right so what you want to do first is have your video that you want to apply the effect to this clip over here on the right is just the one with the mask uh, just to show you what you're going to do with that so hold option and just drag upwards to create a copy and you're going to go into the masks and you're just going to add a draw mask so add that onto that clip and then from here go to the beginning zoom out to about 50 percent all you're going to do is just make a selection you don't have to be exact with the points here you just have to make them and add just a few points not too many so as you can see i didn't add that many points i just made a rough selection of my subject here from there the reason we're gonna have these points outwards a little bit is because we're gonna be creating a feather so make sure that this is out a little bit something like this okay so start it like that go under control points and you're gonna add a keyframe and then next to transform you're gonna add a keyframe next to position as well so once you're there you're gonna just press right on the arrow key on your keyboard to go one frame to the right and then left to go back one frame. So we're gonna press right on the arrow key to go one frame forward and we're gonna move these points as our subject moves. But you're just gonna keep doing this. As you can see, you can click anywhere in between this selection to move all the points. If I'm a couple of frames inwards, if I go back, you should see it start to move or animate. So that's what you wanna do for the rest of these frames. There's about 18 or 19 frames. So it's not gonna take that long, especially because we don't have that many points. When you're finished, which I'm gonna delete, and just drag this one. It's the same exact clip, the same mask. I just have it keyframed all the way. So if I go to draw mask, you're gonna see that I've just animated all the points here. And then when you're there, you're gonna go under feather. So you can disable the bottom clip and you're gonna select the top clip and yours is probably gonna be a zero. So it's gonna look something like this. So if you click off of it, it'll be a very rough edge. Increase the feather to the left. So we're gonna make this negative, maybe like negative 78, maybe not too much. So maybe negative 60 or so. And uh, as you can see, because we have our points all the way outside of our subject this will bring it inwards to our subject so now when we enable the clip we should have that soft feather so once you're there go into the effects you're gonna go under blur and you're gonna add the prism blur on the bottom clip which is the main clip here and you're just gonna increase this quite a bit so something like that and you're gonna go under kaleidoscope and you're gonna add a kaleidoscope on this and you can adjust this amount so you can have it really small of a kaleidoscope or really big so i'm going to make it to about here and then from there we're going to decrease the mix to something about 60 or 50 percent so you're going to go in distortion and at the very bottom you're going to have underwater so drag that onto that bottom clip as well increase the size so you can increase it or make it really small so if i push play it'll look like that i'm going to increase it increase increase the speed so if I push play, we can do something like this. So once you're there, we have to create that tiling effect on our mask. So to do that, you're just gonna go under the tiling and you're gonna go to visual echo. You can just go and add the trails effect, which is my personal favorite. So if I push play, you're gonna see that it's creating more of a trail effect, which is what we want. Then you're gonna hold option on that second clip and just drag this at the very top. And you're just gonna disable the trails effect. So just disable it. So now our top clip here with just the mask itself, will be overlaid on top of everything. So when I push play, it'll look just like that. Let me know what you guys think of this effect down below in the comment section and consider leaving a like and subscribing so you don't miss out on a video like this one. Until then, peace out.